Metroid Fusion. Uh, before we before we get started, I am gonna let you know right now that that I do tend to stutter and slur my words, so just so just be so just bear with me on that one. I I'd, I'd been assigned to watch over a biologic research team, so I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. Well, I'm the only one that's gonna deal with this. Like you both have guns. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had, infect and had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my, shift di my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologics vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X and my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a, I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make it to make an anti X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived reborn as something different. Pondering this fact, I realized I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. Wait, was that her talking or just a ship? Oh, the ship. The SIP's computer had notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After, re after regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I'm being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO is something I have, to, I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. There's been an explosion in the quantum bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388, as well as parts of your of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is yet unclear. Investigate the quantum bay is here. 
Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Your ejection is clear. Is your ejection objective clear? Now go to the quantum bay. I am just blunt right there. Alright, uh, welcome to my- oh, No, no, I didn't mean to go back to the ship. Yeah, screw it, just take me out. Alright, Jesus. Anyway, uh, welcome to my let's play- Welcome to my let's play of uh, Metroid Fusion. This is- Now, the, if you've read the title, then it'll say, like, this- Returning- Revisiting my first Metroid. That's a bit of a- That's not completely true. My first- this is my first 2D Metroid. My first actual Metroid was Metroid Prime, but like I never actually beat the game because I was like I was too young to like know what the hell what was going on. But anyway, like I'm gonna explain more in detail like how exactly I got my how exactly I, I, I my first experience playing this game, and tell you the circumstances revolving around that. But first, this. The Quantum Bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Now, these types of briefings are gonna happen a lot because I've actually I, I actually did play the game a little bit, and they do tend to be frequent, which I don't remember that playing like a few because I don't remember that like hap being like this frequent like early in the game. But uh, first off, we're gonna be going inside. Yep. yep. And Oh yeah, basically yeah, the ex-parasites are out and we are basically gonna figure out like what happened here. But yeah, uh, actually like I actually didn't get this game like when it came out. I, I think I wasn't really, like, I don't think I was born yet, which is the crazy part. Because I think the Game Boy came out 2001 and was this a launch title? I'm not sure, but it was around that time I think. But wait, hold on a sec. This is unfortunate news. The, spe the, speci the specimens brought back by the field were, by the field team were infected by the X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before before the explosion, a security a security scanner scanned one of the one the gal the gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X inf infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predator of the X, that's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by the X again. And in fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish your health and restore, weapon, restore weapons. You may also restore, late, you may also restore late, latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many spe species. Some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I am already detecting massive bio signs in this region. The X are all, the X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at ten percent battle cap capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Then get going. I have released the lock at, on level zero hatch. Look for the look for the blinking hatches. Anyway, like, anyway, so I actually got this game through the Nintendo Ambassador Assistance for the 3DS. If any, if any of you remember that, like, back in 2011, the 3DS actually, oh shit, the 3DS actually cost like $280. Like, and recently it's actually like, it, they actually stopped production of it, so they're not making any more. Like, I actually, it's funny, because even though, like, the 3DS is now basically obsolete because of the Switch, because, like, the Switch is doing so much, oh crap, the corpse. Oh yeah, I'm very sorry, but like, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna be doing a lot of cursing, like, I'm not gonna be trying to do any cursing, like, that's just gonna, that's just honestly gonna happen, and I'm gonna try my best and censor myself, but anyway, I actually got through the Nintendo Ambassador System, I still remember the day when I, when I went to the GameStop, oh, we're going, like I said, this is gonna happen, like I said, the navigation room is gonna happen a lot, I have received news from HQ, they can support you with downloadable weapon data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The, down the data room is here. Is your objective clear? With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Anyway, 
I still remember when I went to the game shop, like, back in, like, in 2011, and I was like, Mom, Mom, like, I really want to get this, and I was like, I remember on the day we were trying, me and my older brother were trying to, like, go ahead and trade in, like, our 3DS, or, no, our DSIs, so we can get, like, a discount or something, and I remember on the first day, I was like, sorry, we can't, we're closing, I'm like, no, oh, no, wait, oh, no, that's not what happened, what actually happened was that we actually, I forgot the stylus and the charger, so I couldn't actually, like, so I couldn't actually, like, tr so we couldn't really trade it in, so we had to, like, leave and come back another day, which, I mean, considering how bad I was acting, I'm not surprised. That computer, that computer, that computer reminds me of a scruff federal, federation CEO. I served under, I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me lady on missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be trying to change my voice to like match the different match the characters. Like so, if it's like if it's the computer, I'm gonna talk in like a and monotone ish tone with Samus. I'm gonna give her like a lighter like pitch tone. But let's see, it's funny because I I didn't even realize that I, that the price tag was expensive until like I heard about it later from like other people like Jared that price tag on on the 3ds is too much like we're not gonna buy it it's like oh okay and later on Nintendo apologized it with the Nintendo ambassador program what you get was like 10 NES 10 free NES games and 10 free GameCube games and surprise surprise this was one of them this is how I actually like got to play Metroid Fusion back in the back like in 2011 and the funny thing. Oh wait, and the funny thing is, I didn't even like know anything about. I barely had an inkling of what Metroid was because of my experience with Prime. So I was like, "Oh, I remember Metroid," and I was like, "Okay, let's play this." And then like, literally, like it ended up in like, "Oh crap!" All right, let's go through this first. Again, I'm sorry about the cursing. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it as I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your mission worked. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb a, sp a special type of X parasites that's green. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Missiles are your only hope. To ha don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. But yeah, God, I actually ended up playing Metroid Fusion like six maybe seven playthroughs and like that's how much i really love this game now i understand that there's problems with it and i'll probably and, but it's been like years since i played this game like maybe four or five years like it's been like like the last time i played this was before high school and i'm playing this for the first time again in like my freshman year of college so maybe like maybe like after like years and years of being away from the game i'll most likely like I have most likely developed my like, different taste in it, so like some of the problems that weren't apparent to me before, like in my six playthroughs, maybe will become more apparent now. Also, yeah, uh, some of so yeah, that was like a missile capacity, and that increases your missiles, your missiles, and you're gonna want to have those like especially here early on in the game, because because they're just some they're just some bosses that just take in missiles after missiles after missiles. But let's see. From what I heard, from what I understand, the game was ex the game is too linear, meaning it's like too. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's up here? Oh no, it's just a save room. Yeah, I'll go do this right now. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I think that might be a good time to place this. I think it might be a good place to stop for now because it's because the video is getting close to like 15 minutes. I do want to keep like the videos like around like 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm probably not gonna be able to keep that for long because, like, you know, you never know what happens in life. But for right, but for right now, I'm gonna leave the edit, the video. I almost said idiot. Like, wow. But I'm gonna leave the video off here for right now. I hope you, I hope you at least enjoyed like a little story and like that's there's more to the story and like a little layer on and explain like what are the games I like, got in that and a little bit of my like history with like the Metroid series because. This is where it all started, man. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you next time in the next video.